once again to Twins Talk with Senior Smoke. I'm Landon Evanson, and we have a lot to talk about today. The Twins closed out their first week of the season with a 500 road trip and now head for Target Field and the first homestand of the season. Before we start tossing questions at Juan, please remember to listen in for the Bering Gear Award of the Week for your chance at a set of four tickets to see the Twins take on the Rangers on May 26, courtesy of Fox Sports North, because our first set of four for the Twins-Royals game this Saturday has been awarded to Rosalie Stefanich. Congratulations to Rosalie. And oh, by the way, not only can you send that Bearing Gear Word of the Week to Senior Smoke at hbci.com, you can also submit a question you'd like to ask Juan to the same address because we'll pick one viewer query every week. We know you must have questions, so let us have them, everyone. With that, good morning, Juan. How are you today? Good morning. Thank you, man. It's everything is excited. I'm ready to wait to go see the Twins play today and, uh, against Oakland and see what happened today. Mm -hmm. All right. Chris Colabello is off to a great start as Minnesota's DH, occasional first baseman, but from some scoff a little bit because he's 30 years old. You look at his minor league numbers, though, it's pretty clear that the guy can hit. Is, is it possible that he's just never been in the right place at the right time and he's going to put up numbers like this for the Twins all year? Well, you know, it, it, it's still early right now. that um, I know that the Twins have been difficult, especially, uh, you know, this guy started hitting uh, and see what happened a little bit more. And I know he get the edge in there. The fast boy can beat a little bit more. Uh, this guy want to get into the edge. Around about 30, 38, they looking more for blinking ball than the fast ball, 90. They beat him up a little bit. And I think it is everything going to be all right. And uh, Kubo will be right-handed and he will be left-handed. I think they'll go be all fine. Hmm. Now I have to ask. Twins baseball is all about work hard, play hard. The fundamentals are stressed at all times. Play the game the right way. We all know that as Twins fans. During the first week, however, Trevor Plouffe rushed an easy throw that resulted in a White Sox run. And then the final game against Cleveland, he failed to slide into home plate on a close play. Now, of course, he was safe, but things like that usually don't fly in Minnesota. I'm wondering, though, when things like that happened while you were playing, was it always a manager or a coach who would come up and talk to you about that and about how you need to do things a little differently? Or were there times when a teammate would come say, hey, that's not how we do things here? Yeah, sometimes he said, you know, you know more kids when uh, you play professional baseball, you know what kind of mistake everybody making and everything. Mm -hmm. And I think that, uh, I think uh, the money they got to be a little more stuff for these guys lately because he's been here for a long time and everybody look like a model, like a really friend, you know. Mm -hmm. I think this is a more business and uh, no really relationship in there. You have to have the relationship, but you have to go in there and do it 100% and don't make a mistake like a you got to do it. You know, and everybody talking about this, this heating, I know he's been, he bring, he bring every game, he bring a score a lot of run, but the pitcher, he give up a lot of run too, with a secret, uh, and the both sides of these, see what happened, because uh, they talking about having a good pitching, they spend a lot of money, but uh, nobody been pitching great so far, because mm. they win some couple games, but every game is like a, like a 10 to seven, or, you know, eight to nine, you know, it, it's a lot of difficult playing the games like that one, and everybody give up a lot of runs. Mm -hmm. You know, you talked about that. Glenn Perkins was an all-star closer a year ago. He's posted ERAs under three each of the last three seasons. He did have a one-two-three save to conclude the road trip. Excuse me, conclude the road trip in Cleveland. Uh, but he has surrendered four runs in just four innings, including a two-run, you know, blown save in Chicago. Do you chalk that up to early season rust, kind of like Jeff Reardon had at the beginning of the '87 season, and then he kind of straightened things out? Or do you see some reason to be concerned there with Minnesota stopper? Yeah, you know, I give you a little excuse, I guess. Because he coming from the National League to coming to pitch to the American League, you have to adapt a little bit to the hitters. Mm -hmm. And then nothing matter how much you can talk to everybody than the, the pitching court and everything. He, he's, he's completely different because he used to throw a lot of drinking board. And, and, and in the American League, you have to be aggressive. And you have to chase everybody. And I think that he tried to throw a couple of spots. And I think that he closed it. He had to come and ride, ride out at everybody and see what happened. It's, you know, it, it's you got to give up a home run, but it's not easy that way. And especially when you have a twist drive, this guy is, you have to throw two pitch away. And, or you got to throw a pitcher away, but it's got to be close to the home plate. And this guy can be maybe chased or something like that, but no way high or something like that. But I think he could be fine, and I think he could be safe another 30, 30 games this year or 40 games. All right. You know, the Twins look to improve the rotation from a year ago, and uh, there have been glimpses of the potential that we've seen here early on. 
But we really haven't seen Ricky Nolasco, Phil Hughes, or Mike Pelfrey put a great start together from beginning to end. You know, for as much as the Twins are scoring right now, the expectations of the new arms, do you think it's possible the guys in the rotation are just feeling the, pre the, pre excuse me, the pressure to perform? Yeah, I think the, the, the starting pitcher is, is kind of put together because uh, to play in the Minnesota Twins and uh, with right now, the, with that team they have it, you don't have a lot of pressure, and especially the fun in here. It's so nice. So uh, when, I, when I used to pitch in here, I love playing here because it's fun. It's really nice. They clap for you that when you do a mistake sometimes. And, they, you know, these, you go in there and have a fun. And, uh, and it, sometimes it's, this guy is thinking too much, put a lot of pressure on himself and try to make a perfect pitch. It is. It, that's what happened. And you can pitch a lot of three, two, and all these kind of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then throw the first pitch, breaking board, and then the, and 100 percent everybody take the first pitch. And then the only guy I can remember when I played in my time is Ricky Henderson. So you throw the, the fastball, is for sure he could be out of the stadium because he's looking for that pitch. He hit mm -hmm. the home run in the first pitch. And uh, I, I, I think so everybody has to be aggressive and then not throw too many balls because when you go three and two, then, and you throw around about 80 pitch and then five innings that you almost don't the game ready because they clock in a hundred pitchers and everybody. Mm -hmm. All right, so Twins home openers this afternoon against a tough Oakland club. Then they close out the week with a division rival and similarly tough Kansas City squad. So two things. What do the Twins have to do to have a winning week against a player, pair of playoff caliber teams? And are you going to make it out to Target Field at all for the opening week? Yep, I'll be there tonight and I'll be there on Saturday to go see that these guys in Kansas City is coming in town. And I, I Kansas City have a good team, and then I, well, I like to see every team's early so and then see what they have. I know Oakland he lost a couple of free agents, and then and see the Mervyn, I, the money that I play with him is in, uh, in Detroit, and then, and then San Francisco, that I like to see him and talk and find out what's going on in this team, and next time I have a couple more things to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's all we need for you this week, Juan. We hope you have a time fun at the park, and uh, we'll talk to you in a week. All right. Thank you, man. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Don't forget to submit your questions for Juan to Senior Smoke at HBCI.com and also send the Bearing Gear Word of the Week for your chance at a set of four tickets behind the plate to see the Twins play the Rangers at Target Field on May 26th. And that word is home. Once again, submit that word home as well as your questions for Juan to Senior Smoke at HBCI.com. That's it for us. Thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you in a week.